hi guys my name is lucy and in this channel we do all things diy all things decor and your little lifestyle so if you're new to this channel you're most definitely welcome don't forget to subscribe you know turn on your post notification and you know turns up this video if you find it fun and also if you are a returning subscriber a big thank you and a big shout out to you thank you for always returning back to this channel so my parents old tenant moved out and he left this old bench really old and tired bench at the backyard but your girl is going to be transforming that bench to something really luxurious today because that's what we do here that's what we do here so i'm going to be trans transforming that into an ottoman bench for less so if you haven't planning to transform something in your home let this be the inspiration you need <laughs> So I'm going to start by ripping up the legs of this chair. Um, I don't want this and I want to take it outside to clean up. So I'm going to go ahead and use my nail, my hammer to pull out the nail and um, try as much as I can to like make this as neat as possible because I don't want nails popping up. So yeah, I'm going to go ahead and do that. And for this other side, um, the nail broke. <laughs> after pulling it down like i, I pushed it for uh, front back front back front back as much as i could until the nail broke and that didn't seem like it needs work at first but later on when i covered it it didn't it didn't look like it was bad as bad again so i take it outside for a quick sand and that's because i want to kind of remove dirt from it i want to make it a bit neater um yeah so next i'm going to be using these rolling pins i got four rolling pins actually my sister had two and i bought extra two so yeah so i'm going to go ahead and take measurements of them and then mark where i want to cut off so on um, lucky for me they're not the same design but lucky for me they are the same size so i was able to cut off exactly the same amount of wood from them and then i'm going to go ahead and join it to my log of wood plank or whatever this is called with my drill gun and screws and yeah Here I'm just applying my glue to this. You can use any adhesive of your choice as long as it can work with wood and foam together. So yeah, I'm going to use this adhesive and I'm going to apply it all over my wood and a little part of my foam. You can apply it to your foam if you want. So after that, I, I joined the first um, foam and now I'm going to go ahead and apply it to the second foam and join as well. I'm using two foams because I wanted a four inches um, height of foam, but this foam I originally have is um, two inches. So yeah, it's like a leftover foam from a previous project. So I'm deciding to join it together instead of getting a new one. So yeah, after that, I went down um, to my fabric. I already cut this fabric. It's also a leftover fabric for me. Um, DIY, but that DIY is going to be coming after this one funny enough. So yeah, um, I went on and cut the fabric to size. I'm going to be splitting this fabric in the middle because I want to put um, buttons onto top of it. So it's this is going to make it look more luxurious. <laughs> so I'm going to go ahead and um, cut and mark that out. I already measured it out before this recording. So yeah. I'm going to go ahead and cut it out, use my pins to join it and go onto my sewing machine and finish the job there.
so i took it outside after sewing it to just check if it's the same size here you can see where i joined those two tiny pieces of fabric that i put by the side and yeah it looks good enough so i'm going to go ahead and open my um, foam for the tufting and then put back the fabric i already measured out um, where i'm going to cut as usual i'm going to use my scissors because <laughs> that's literally the easiest thing to use for this tufting but you can go for other tufting methods i've not tried other tufting methods on this channel yet maybe one day i'll try it and i'll show you how it works but yeah for now we're using scissors to open up the holes and then we're going to go ahead and place the fabric back and um, start finding the holes with our fingers and making sure the holes corresponds with the um lines where we already um, joined the fabric from so yeah we're going to staple on the lines into the holes we made i don't even know if that explains it enough but yeah I'm just going to flip this over and start stapling the extra fabrics and um, basically just folding the extra fabrics into the um, under of the bench so to make the work neater just make sure you staple all the fabrics to the end and um, cut off any excess fabric so you have a neat job if you're going to try out this DIY because if you leave the extra fabrics out they are going to drop and that's not going to look aesthetically pleasing so yeah always make sure to avoid it and avoid foldings so i'm going to cut off any excess fabric from the end of this side and then i'm going to fold it like so So like I said, you're either trimming off all the excesses or you're stapling it on strongly. Or for this part, I'm going to trim off all the excesses because I don't want the ropes falling out. And I'm going to use my staple gun and go back in to the tips of this fabric to hold it strongly. Yeah. So onto the final part of this whole process. You already seen this beauty so i'm going to go ahead with my glue gun and glue stick and this um buttons that i made at the market you guys saw me making this button the um, other time in my previous ottoman video so if you haven't seen that i'm going to put a card up so you can, can see it but yeah that's how i i made these buttons too so i'm going to go ahead and apply the buttons to this DIY and ta-da!